Scrambling to prevent a catastrophe, lava from Hawaii's Kilauea volcano is approaching a power plant facility, and officials are fearing that it could trigger the release of toxic gas. Jeff Paul is live on the Big Island, and Jeff, how damaging could this be? Yeah, there are real concerns right now about that lava that is getting closer and closer to that geothermal plant. If that were to happen, there could be a release of toxic steam as well as some explosions. And that's part of the reason why you see here the Hawaii National Guard has these Black Hawk helicopters on standby and ready to go should anyone become stranded and need rescuing. Now, this plant we've been talking about, it harnesses energy from the volcano using steam and hot liquid captured in underground wells. Crews have already moved thousands of gallons of flammable liquid and are working to clear the rest of the property by filling up wells with cold water. Lava is also still flowing from many of the nearby fissures at a much faster rate. And in one spot, it's getting close to a school. So we asked geologists what this all means and if there are any signs of this volcanic activity slowing down soon. I'd have to say no. It's uh, you know this, this is still the early part of the eruption, especially this uh, this second phase with uh, very fluid stuff. And usually, in an eruption, the first two or three days, uh, the eruption rate is quite high, and then it will tail off. Now, just the threat of this volcano uh, has hit the local economy pretty hard. $222 million in lost revenue so far when you include funds that normally go uh, to the national park and to the 2,000 jobs indirectly uh, impacting it. Cruise ships have also canceled their visits to the Big Island, and tourism authorities say bookings from the month of May to July have dropped by about 50%. Now, the county's mayor tells us that this island and Hawaii in general is open for business. In fact, uh, not too long ago, we were at a nearby restaurant and one of the owners said, hey, make sure you tell your viewers that this volcano is only impacting a very small percentage of the island. We count on people coming here. The beaches are still open and the weather, as you know, in Hawaii, still beautiful. Melissa. Wow. And when it's all over, a lot of people are going to want to see it, too. Jeff Paul, thank you.